Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys how to make some delicious bean buñuelos. In case you guys wanna know how to make this super easy and delicious pastry, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. All right you guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need one cup and a half of all-purpose flour, sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, two tablespoons of melted butter, one and three quarters of a cup of milk, and vegetable oil. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, guys, so to make our bean buñuelos, we're going to be using a buñuelo pastry maker. Um, you can buy these at any Hispanic supermarket or the Swamp Meat or even Amazon. But before you use it, make sure that you cure it and you just cure it by just washing it with soap and then you're going to dip, dip it in hot oil and leave it in there medium heat for 30 minutes. Okay, so once we have that, now we're ready to make our bean buñuelos. All right, guys, so to make our batter, we're going to be using the blender. Uh, we're going to start by mixing the milk. melted butter, vanilla, and eggs. So we're going to begin mixing. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to add our sugar. So make sure that you sift along with the flour. And I'm going to mix while we're adding it. Okay, then we're going to add our baking powder and salt. Make sure that everything gets mixed. Okay. All right, so once we have our batter, now we're going to transfer into a bowl. So transfer into a bowl that's going to be big enough for the mold to fit. And of course, if you wanna make them colored, then you go ahead and add the food coloring to the blender as well as we're mixing. So now we're just going to allow it to sit for 30 minutes, and meanwhile, we can get our oil ready. All right, so we're going to get our frying pan, we're going to set it on low heat, and we're going to add our vegetable oil. So I am going to add like a whole bottle of oil and we're just going to put our mold in there and we're going to leave it in there for the 30 minutes all right guys it's been 20 minutes so at this point we're going to turn up the heat to medium all right so now we're just going to wait until our oil is ready all right guys so after 10 minutes now we are ready to begin making our bean buñuelos so we're going to remove our mold from the oil we're going to remove the excess oil on a paper towel And now we're going to dip it into our batter. Now for the batter, make sure that it does not go over the mold, okay? So that's very important. So make sure that you go in there, okay? And then transfer it to the oil. Give it like 10 seconds. Go up and down until it releases from the mold. Okay, then release, and now we're just going to allow it to get nice and golden. Okay, so once you see it that it's getting nice and golden, grab it, flip it over, and just now allow it to get fully nice and golden. And make sure that at this point you have your sugar ready. Okay, so once our buñuelo looks like this, we're going to remove it from the oil. Set it on paper towel, just set it on paper towel. And after that, be quick, dip it in sugar, just like that, grab it. And you wanna do it while they're hot so like that the sugar can get stick to the buñuelo. And just like that, now we're just going to repeat the process so we no longer have any batter. Alrighty, you guys, and just like that, we have our delicious bean buñuelos. So with this batter, you're able to get about 35. Of course, if your mold is a little smaller, then you might get more. And then for here, I just added food coloring, and then I used my sugar, my sanding sugar. So just make sure that you use the sanding sugar. Um, I love using that for my pastries. 
But now we are ready to enjoy our delicious bean buñuelos. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that these buñuelos are seriously so delicious, super easy to make. Um, you know, of course it's easier to make these buñuelos than the other ones that you, you know, make them all thin. Um, perfect for Christmas, everybody enjoys them. So hope you give them a try and enjoy them just as much. Cheers, Cheers. and enjoy. Mm. Perfect every time. And of course you can add less sugar, but this is how we like them, so they're perfect. So delicious, the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious bean buñuelos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,